we're going from 43 degrees Celsius uh, sea, sea level or below, and we're going up to 4,300 meters, pushing 4,500. Um, and if we can get these pickup trucks to perform through this environment, they're going to be great for the rest of the world. It starts out at 9,000 feet and goes to 11,000 feet over a six mile span, towing a max trailer tow weight of 3,000 kilograms across the country on different elevations over long periods of grade, six to eight percent grades, um, to test uh, CTEPs, which are certified engineering test procedures for the global market. Dude. So you're trying to make sure that the vehicle will perform and make it up the grade in a specified speed and time and allow the vehicle to do it without running to its limits. Well, the, the, the turbocharger, we're able to build uh, 2.4 uh, atmospheres of boost. Um, and when you have all that air, that means you can put in more fuel, really in, increase the torque, um, and, and able to do that in a clean way, um, and be able to meet the stringent uh, European Stage 4 and Stage 5. Essentially what we have here is the tool that I work with is a tool that looks at the engine and actually tells us how the engine is feeling, how it's operating. Um, we can rig up different thermocouples and transducers throughout the engine to give us additional data if we need. But it gives us information such as RPM, such as throttle position. Um, there's almost uh, a million labels that we look at in order to make sure the vehicle runs properly. What we're doing on this trip to try to pr protect for this vehicle being sold globally, we're running these vehicles on lower grade diesel fuel. We, we, we want to make sure that no matter where this vehicle is sold, no matter what the fuel quality is, that customer is going to get an engine that runs well and performs, even doing some of these extreme um, maneuvers that we're doing on this test trip, going up mountains and uh, towing.